That is that car you got for me to ride in that time. That's fantastic. Thank you, Jaden. Thank you very much. Well, we better bust a move. We're getting interviewed on the telly. You'd be welcome to join us, Dr. Warner. Let the world know how you helped us out. Thanks, but uh, not really my bag. You don't want to mention it. Maybe if you could just thank the hospital. <laughs> All right, mate. We better go and be film stars. Joyce. Well, it's, uh, it's truly been my pleasure. I'm wrapped that you came to see me. And this will take pride of place on my desk. You ever need a hand, you knock on my door. Goodbye. See ya. What was that all about? Jaden was a patient here. I referred him on. Good people. Thanks for letting me visit. Please, I was alone and bored. Where's Angus? Uh, uni, manning some recruitment desk for his right-wing party. Pretty brave. Mm, that's what Dad said, but Angus said business studies guys worship money, so it's not exactly a hard sell. I meant the direct thing. Ah, yeah, you kind of forget about it after a while. <laughs> anyway, what's up? You and Moo make beautiful music together. I'm still way too uncool to hang with those guys. Well, we've tutored you in music. Do you have any money for clothes? A little. Excellent! Oh, sounds like your boyfriend now. He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> Relax. We'll get the boys to take us to the mall, and I'll get you looking so straight they'll put you in a Brother D video. Which would be great, only I'm not allowed in Moo's car. Not without a warrant. Oh. Ladies, your Superfly chariot awaits. The Lewis Mobile is officially cholesterol free, lemon scented, and good to go. It means we've got a warrant. Oh, excellent. You guys can taste them all. Yeah. I'll just have to check with Dad. Sorry. Tuesday, what's up? Is it okay if I go to the mall with Sophie? Oh, who's that you're with? Moo and Tani. They just got the car warranted. Hey, um, guess what? They just signed off for my advance. Dad, that's great. Congratulations. We're back on top, babe. So, is it okay if I go to the mall? I was just going to get some clothes. Only cheap. Look, if you need clothes, you deserve the best. Come on, let me make it up to you for being such a loose unit, eh? What do you say? You and me go large at the mall, just like old times. They're sort of all ready to go here. Sweetheart, this advance means I'm together again. Let me take care of you for a while instead of the other way around. Okay, if they drop me home on their way. Okay. See you soon, eh? I have to go home. Dad needs me. Oh, stink. Another time, eh? Well, what are we waiting for? to check when the next HOD meeting is. Thursday, 11, sharp. Great, thanks. Uh, I saw a, a young kid and his dad with Chris before. Any idea who they were? It's Jaden and his dad. Chris saved that boy's life. Really? How? Jaden was dying from this horrible tumour and his poor dad was beside himself. They were desperate and no one could help them. Surgeons, specialists, no one. Chris did the surgery. Chris realised that he couldn't handle it by himself, but did he give up? No. He worked day and night, pulling every string he could to get that boy on a flight to the States. And he paid for everything. He even organised for Jaden to have a ride in a Lamborghini. <laughs> he didn't just refer him on then? No. Without Chris, that boy would be dead. It's a pity some people don't know how special he is. going shopping? Oh, I can't. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm right in the middle of this tricky bit. Almost cracked it. 
Some coffee. We'll go later, eh? There won't be a later. The shops will close. Okay, we'll go tomorrow then, I promise. We'll spend half my advance. But you said you were going to take me today. Well, today, tomorrow, we'll get there. Look, we'll buy you a bunch of really cool stuff. We'll go nuts. We're out of milk. Do you mind popping down to the dairy, grabbing some milk? Oh, and uh, get some biscuits too. I feel like something sweet. Get those ones you like. I'll just finish this chapter. Maybe two, three pages, tops. Don't pretend, Alan. Don't pretend you're not in love with me. Don't pretend you've always felt this way. Ugh, I know what I feel. <laughs> Guess what, babies? Next we're gonna do something really choice. We're gonna slime the teacher with the slime A bowl of fresh hamburger mix in under 10 seconds. Done! Salad dressing. You know, Alice, what's that? There's only so much hamburger mix a girl can stand. You know what you need? What's that? A nice big glass of wine. You deserve it. Great idea, Alice. Dude, black girls cracked me up. <laughs> ah, knocking off early, eh? Got suspended. Martini, thanks. Suspended? That sucks. What happened? Some guy grabbed me an ED right around these for a split second. I was back in that garage, and I lashed out. Sorry, that's tough. So how long been suspended for? At this stage, two weeks. <laughs> and don't dare give me a lecture about how lucky I am. It might as well be a lifetime. No, nope, two weeks is a long time, I know. Thank you. Whereas if I could do things my way and stay at work, I could lead a normal life instead of being forced to think. Instead, it's go to a counsellor, Alice, spill your guts, have a good cry, and bingo, closure. God, I hate that word. Who knows, maybe I am nuts. On the house. Goodness. You are a very smart and very strong woman, Alice Piper. I have a little faith in yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Guess who just got the call to fill in as the radio doctor on News Now? Oh, good one. Should be fun. Yeah, well, it's only for a month, but it's a foot in the door. You want to do radio? Oh, radio, TV, whatever media will have me. You know, I should try and get you the radio nurse segment. Uh, I think I've got enough work here. Thanks all the same. Well, think of the publicity we could generate. We don't have enough patients? Look, we make this the in-demand service model and DHPs across the country will want to establish their own. We move out of hands-on and into consultancy, but the options are endless. Um, about Mr McKenzie, I'm getting his pharmacist to make up a weekly blister pack of meds. Should stop him forgetting. You see, it's that sort of practical help that a radio audience would benefit from. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> OK. You know, if I get good feedback, I could get the gig long term. I could leverage TV appearances, get my name out there and be the media doctor that everyone turns to. Dr Mackay back up on the billboards. Oh, yes, please. You know, being a GP is like peeing into a wetsuit. It's a nice warm feeling, but nobody notices. <laughs> <laughs> Do we look like toys? Probably some amateur crew. Ignore. Toy? Amateurs. Yeah, there's rules. 
there's rules to illegally painting stuff on walls. Yeah. Like you can go over a tag with a throw up, but not vice versa. And you can go over a throw up with a piece. Help. Well, you know what a tag is, right? Well, a throw up's just a simple outline with one colour fill in. It's big, quick, simple, and one step up from a tag. And a piece. That's what we're doing today. Full colour design. Art. What about those stencils you see sometimes? Art school kids think they're better than us. But the main thing is, get up and stay up. And don't get caught. <laughs> um, do you want to keep a lookout? Yeah. If a car slows down, even if it's not a cop, yell. So you found a way to relax? Hey, you're here! What did you think of the house? Never seen the place so clean. I even cleaned behind the fridge. Yuck! <laughs> How about we move on to coffees, eh? You've got a job to do. What's that? You gotta mess up the house. I want a pig start, so I've got something to do tomorrow. You were gonna give counselling another go again, remember? Yeah, yeah. Did you call some of your mates? They all work during the day. Catch up on DVDs. No fun on your own. Well, we need to find something for you to do then, don't we? Well, I already have something to do. Wave you off to work, clean the house, and then I come here. I'm really glad you gave me this time off. I'm feeling really relaxed now. Last month's stats. In particular, Callum wanted me to point out his throughput. Works hard, that man. As he doesn't hesitate to mention. <laughs> must have made a real impression with this kid. He reminded me of Harry when you were, um, on the road. I've done so many stupid things, I needed a positive focus in my life. This is the kind of thing that would normally see you on the front page. <laughs> I thought you liked a bit of publicity. Oh, back when I was ambitious. In any case, this is greater reward than anything I can think of. Well, you deserve something. How about I take you out to dinner? I'd like that. Tuesday! Are you Mr. Warner? Tuesday, what's going on? Your daughter was called tagging with some mates. Tagging? We are releasing you with a warning. We have noted the offence and that you refuse to give names. Next time, she'll be arrested. I thought you went for milk. Well, I didn't. I went off with my friend. Tagging? What the hell is going on here? I stuffed up. I'm sorry. Well, who are you? I can't believe you'd even consider doing something like this. I won't do it again, okay? No, it's not okay. Just leave me alone. You are not to see those kids again, ever. What? You heard me. You can't do that. They're the only friends I've got. Friends? They are thugs. They're brainless little thugs who encourage you to break the law, then leave you to cop the blame. I can't believe you can't even see that. Stop it, Dad. So what? So you can go and vandalise more stuff or, or kill yourself in a pile of junk car? You are supposed to be responsible. I'm more responsible than you! I can actually take care of myself. I don't waste myself on pee or piss off everyone who's ever tried to help me. And you know what? I feel a hell of a lot safer driving with Nu and Tane than I ever did with you. At least they're straight. Okay, you will not talk to me like that. Why? Because you're my father? Well, I wish you weren't. I wish Chris was. Next week, Nadine Sadek goes undercover in Cork City to share his good fortune with a number of worthy causes. He's the secret millionaire at 9.35 on Monday night here on RTE1.